things you have to be doing in this game that's so cold with these women because these girls are even cold er than you guys and that's the sad part about it so you guys gotta change that whole game and become cold er than her who's the coldest of them all you're the coldest of them all <laughs> she's thinking like damn i thought i was a special one i thought i was a queen you put the crown on my head and it's almost like you guys just taking that crown back a lot of girls feel like they're secured with you a lot of girls feel like okay you know what i'm already set i'm already good oh he wants me he'll never leave and that's because they felt like you put the crown on their head and realistically you guys do with the validation with the complimenting with the going overboard doing things and even not even overboard just doing simple things here and there when you shouldn't be doing it boss baddies and my batman fellas it is your girl bosana and welcome b boss army so as you guys can tell by the title today we're going to be talking about things that you guys can say to a woman to make her think that you're alpha believe that you're alpha and just to show that like you're that guy really overall to show her you're that guy that's what it is but at the end of the day normally when you're alpha and you have all these things going on you are that guy right right but anyway so you don't have to be bragging this means that you don't have to be doing the most the things that i'm going to tell you is literally basic things and these are the things that i feel like guys kind of don't think about it too much because when you guys think of alpha you kind of think of like the building aspect of what it takes and then how long it takes right as far as like let's say one of the steps is just getting on your purpose and maybe your purpose is to have a business that's this and that that takes some time, right? So that's the parts where it's like difficult. But then there's these little things that you guys can literally just say and do and mainly say because we're talking about this in this video and you'll be so shocked how much women will look at you and look at you differently. And last thing I'll say before, you know, I say the other stuff that I normally say in the beginning is that you have to keep in mind the same way a woman can look at a man and instantly be like, oh, I'm turned off because he just said this. It's the same way you can say something and she'll be like, wow, I just got turned on because he just said this or I like him even more or wow, you know, he's my type now. All right, you guys, so you guys already know, make sure you check out everything that is on my screen. I need you guys to subscribe to my new YouTube channel and my couple's channel is down below, especially my new YouTube channel because I've been posting a lot on there. So please go support your girl. And if you have already, I love you guys so much. You guys always be supporting. So I love you guys. And y'all got some stuff coming for you guys so y'all better be ready and make sure you subscribe okay so let's go ahead and get started three go down to one so that means do what you gotta watch until the end to get the number one thing on my list all right number three on my list is tell her this compare her to another woman so tell her look like this other girl i know you don't look that much different especially i'll give you two examples let me just not get you know because sometimes i want to say so much so let me just start with this when you compare a woman to another woman it's very offensive now here's the thing it depends on what conversation you're having what you guys are talking about and where you guys are at as far as your relationship between her and you right so that matters because then she'll take it however it is based on what I just mentioned. So let's just say you guys are just in the talking stage. She might just be like, okay, you know what? It's whatever, this and that. If it's a little bit more serious or even if you showed more interest and now you're saying things like this, she might just be very offended. And then there's some girls that are gonna be like, well, <clears throat> They have to prove themselves, oh, I'm not like her, oh, I'm so different. So that's the whole idea of a girl getting so mad is because they feel like, no, I'm not like these other girls, or I'm so different, or no, I'm better looking. Now, here's the thing about women. Nowadays, they compare themselves and they try to say they don't, but they do. That's why a lot of girls out here do things because of what they see on social media, because what they're surrounded by. And it just influences their life that way. That's why, you know, influencers are called influencers. <laughs> Sorry, that's just something that I don't really think about. I feel like a lot of people don't take that in. Like, you know, if you're watching these people, you're going to start wanting to be like them because they're supposed to influence you. But back to this whole idea of a woman getting offended, it's because she wants to, like I said, be her own person. She wants to be the best of the best. And yes, some girls might not be, you know, what's the word that I'm looking for? Not jealous, but we can say jealous. Maybe she's not the jealous type, but... At the end of the day, if she has a whole lot of confidence, still she'll get offended because it's just like, if you're the one that's trying to talk to her, you're trying to, you know, get something out of her, whether it's getting in her pants or something else, you guys, she's still in her head saying, you're the one that wants me. So the second your attention is going somewhere else because, you know, you're comparing her, you're saying you're like, you're like somebody else, she's thinking like, damn, I thought I was a special one. I thought I was a queen. You put the crown on my head. And it's almost like you guys just taking that crown back 
right a lot of girls feel like they're secured with you a lot of girls feel like okay you know what i'm already sad i'm already good oh he wants me he'll never leave and that's because they felt like you put the crown on their head and realistically you guys do with the validation with the complimenting with the going overboard doing things and even not even overboard just doing simple things here and there when you shouldn't be doing it and then when you just take that crown back and do exactly what i just said it's over she's not gonna feel like a queen anymore and some girls they're not gonna feel like a princess anymore there's a new princess there's a new queen and it's not her and that's how a lot of girls will get offended they will just be like oh i can't or you know what f you or i'll replace you and even if she seems or she says she's unbothered it still is gonna be in her head because sometimes you know some things you can just be like okay whatever like that's how he feels but it's gonna be in your head because it's been said to you so it's one of those like you can't control how you take everything it's just more so you can control how you react right but it's still in your head and it's gonna somewhat probably bother her a little bit especially if she's for the streets sometimes it could be a whole lot a lot of bit if that's even a thing to say a lot of bit <laughs> okay so to wrap up with this whole telling her she looks like somebody else comparing it to another woman also you guys have to keep in mind for yourself is that you guys should not be out here trying to say that she's like that or trying to think that way or trying to believe that like don't put it in your head don't say it out loud as far as oh you're so gorgeous you're everything like don't validate these women for real for real like i know it's being said and it's been said but for real for real don't because you're gonna basically make yourself want that woman even more you're gonna end up just getting more disrespect from the woman you're gonna end up getting just push back away from the woman because it's like why would you do that when you know you shouldn't be doing it you guys gotta stop going against what you shouldn't be doing like a lot of you guys really do i know you guys are smart and i know a lot of you guys have some game in you but i know how difficult it is especially when i was first dating out here oh my goodness like not just from my end and the guys end but just everywhere like it just felt like wow what is dating nowadays you get what i'm saying so it's just like you guys, don't put yourself in the mix if you don't have to, okay? And that's setting yourself up legit right there, trying to tell her all these things and validate because before you know it, you're going to end up simping and you're going to be thinking to yourself, oh, well, I was an alpha or I thought I would never simp, but look at you now. You know what I mean? And it's all love around here, right? I did some dumb stuff. I've been naive so many times. I've, you know, I've looked so stupid in so many situations and it goes both ways. Both men and women have issues. So just because I give you advice, remember you guys can help yourself, right? And then there's obviously alphas that just treat these girls ruthless, but they get away with it. It's the game. You got to know the game, player. You feel me? All right. So number two on my list is never, ever, ever lie. So this kind of goes back to number three because it's the whole idea of telling her things that you feel like might offend her. Telling her things that you, you're just too scared. Oh, she might take it this way or she might not want to talk to me anymore. That is going to be a problem. And that's simply because of the fact that that's going to go back to validation. She's just going to be like, okay, well, I know him, this and that. So when I say never lie, give it to her raw. Remember when I used to always say that? Well, I kind of still say it. Give it to her raw. So tell her straight up what the problem is, what you don't like, especially those areas right there, because those are the sensitive areas. A lot of times these girls have problems and it's high, you know, you know, they haven't healed, you know, they're still working on themselves and things like that. And all it takes is for you to notice that. All it takes is for you to actually bring it out. A lot of these girls just put it to the back of their mind, back of their heart. And she's like, I'm never going to look back at that, or I'm never going to feel that, or I'm never going to think about it. But you guys can just bring it up and watch how much it's going to become a sensitive topic because it's going to hit her because she knows damn well that's the truth. So never ever lie and tell her honestly how you really feel. This is how I feel. You know what? You don't look that good without makeup or you know what? How do you? This one kills a lot of girls like this one hurts a lot of girls. How do you look without makeup? Do you even still look good without makeup? And a lot of girls, you know, they get so quick to defend themselves. I look so good. Oh, you want to see me? Oh, I look better natural. Da, da, da. And it's just like a lot of times you can tell they're really bothered. They're really, really phased by it. So it's like, go ahead and tell her. That's how you get the respect and get the things that you want from these women. Because a lot of times you guys are just doing things for the woman. If you start doing things because this is how you feel and then you actually be genuine, tell things the way it should be said, then you'll see the results change into your own favor because you're choosing yourself, right? You guys are winning for these girls instead of winning for yourself as a fella. Play your own team. Stop playing her side. You're on your own team, right? Or are you on her side? Or are you picking both sides? 
No, nah, you guys gotta pick one and that's you. That's your side. You get what I'm saying? So really to wrap up with this point, stop trying to sugarcoat things, trying to be a yes man, trying to, yeah, yeah, you look good. Oh, no, she doesn't look good. And let her know, she doesn't look good. Take that shit off. Take that shit off. And if she's really sensitive and, you know, you don't really want to hurt her feelings, go ahead and tell her. I think a better dress will look better on you. Or another dress will look good on you. Or a different color would look good on you. That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> so, you know, these girls don't want to hear the truth. That's the problem with a lot of these women. And that's where you guys got to make that problem to be a bigger problem because they have to face reality and face that truth. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the last thing on my list. Be friendly with her friends <laughs> i bet you go oh my gosh it's okay normally i'd be like you know and comment it down below if you guys do have any comments or think that there's certain stuff that you guys could say out here to get more respect and have women think that you're that guy the man and things like that comment it down below help out your other fellas out here and you know leave your stories because i see you guys always getting help not from me only but from the guys in the comments okay so for this point this really bothers a lot of women there's nothing more just ah. Uh, like, there's obviously a lot more, but this one just ugh, gets under any woman's skin. Because it's just like, first of all, the attention is not on her. Okay, now it's gone. Secondly, it's her friend. Not just in a woman's case, in a man's case as well. Like, come on, you do not go for the friend. Bro code, girl code, we should all know this. But there's slimes out here, there's, you know, people that don't give an F and they do that. And they don't care, right? You know the whole payback thing. I'm gonna go sleep with your, your guy friend because i know it's gonna hurt you girls really do this and i know a few girls personally and it's really disturbing to know that because it's just like what do you really get out of that it just goes to show how much people's mindsets are you know a little destruct nowadays but hey you know, i'm not gonna touch too much on that but back to this whole just talking to her friend and you know all the giggles you know flirt a little bit that's like i said the tension is gone that's her friend. And now it's just going to be feeling like, I want you to show me everything that you were saying that you were saying in the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's not a little complicated. But in the beginning, when you're talking to a woman, or even if it's been some time, when you are talking to a woman in her head, like I said, she's feeling like, okay, you know, you like me, you want me, da 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 Okay, now that's going on. If you do something that's going to make her question that, and you're doing the opposite of what she was thinking this whole time, then that's just a slap in the face not literally but it's gonna hit her so <laughs> sorry the way i said that <laughs> i'd be laughing at my own jokes i know some of you guys like slaughter crickets crickets anyway so really back to what i was saying nowadays these girls will get really in their feelings because they did not see it coming and they don't think it's ever 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 gonna happen to them not me because i'm that girl not me because look at me not me it's not possible to happen to me because i'm it i'm that it girl and guess what you just give her that little shock <laughs> that little sprinkle of water hey and it's just gonna wake her up it's just that little sprinkle you don't even gotta pour a whole bucket on her head just give her a little sprinkle and she's gonna be like damn <laughs> really <laughs> That's what you're going to do to me. And some girls are going to try to act unbothered. <laughs> the whole, okay, you can have her. Or you want to talk to my friend? Okay, talk to my friend. And there's, like I said, there's girls out here that are trifling as well. They will entertain you because they find you fine. They find you attractive. So, of course, you know what? He's talking to me. Hey, I don't know what to tell you. Some girls are not loyal to their friends. And they want to choose dick over a woman <laughs> you know the woman that's supposed to be her sis or whatever you get what i'm saying so to wrap up with this point that gets her in all different types of ways talking to her friend because it's just a huge cross in the line and i only recommend this because these girls are trifling these girls just that pj story the whole Re britney renner story just oh gave me shivers so it's just like damn girls are so ruthless that and I'm not saying sleep with her friend. I'm saying just talk to her friend and see how that gets under her skin. Things you have to be doing in this game that's so cold with these women because these girls are even colder than you guys. And that's the sad part about it. So you guys got to change that whole game and become colder than her. Who's the coldest of them all? You're the coldest of them all. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Don't let these girls be colder than you. Come on. Who's the fella? Who's the alpha? You are. So make sure you guys are playing that part, playing that role. Talk to your friend a little bit, tease her, joke around, and just see how much she's going to be jealous and bothered. And honestly, the friend shouldn't even be like, you know, doing the whole friendly, giggly thing with you. But it goes to show that girl's not loyal. And maybe her friend will be hit with a double whammy. You know, my friend's not loyal. And this guy that said he, he wants me or he showed interest in me is showing her interest. 
double slaps. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And now that's the bucket on top. If it's double slaps, it's not the sprinkle anymore. I hope you guys are following me, like what I'm saying, because sometimes I'd be just like, my sarcasm is like not always understandable, I feel like. I don't know. But anyway, so I hope this video was entertaining. If it was, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment for number two, part two, and comment what other videos you would like to see. Make sure you check out everything that is on my screen. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you guys all.